are so beautiful. I love being a mermaid. <laughs> it's fun to have a tail. I think it's boring. It is not boring. We have this whole big rock to explore. <sighs> we can swim. Yes, we can swim. Woo! Whee! <sighs> this rock isn't so big after all. <sighs> Great. I don't think he can hear you. <gasps> oh. Where are you? Woo! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Snap! A pair of fish! <laughs> <laughs> Let me find a pair. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> a pale puffer fish. <laughs> My turn. Snap! A pair of plants. That's not a pair. One's a plant and one's an eel. Oh, I never get a match. Careful, Chloe. Eels can be dangerous. Not in my world. It's my turn now. Let's see. Thank 
Thank you. Lovely carrot. Hmm? <laughs> you're, uh, you're welcome, Miss Fish. He wants to meet you. <laughs> I think they're a match. Chloe's favourite colour. So this is the Chloe Ocean. <gasps> Purple is my favourite colour. So Miss Fish must belong in the Tara Ocean. Brilliant! Let's go! Uh, where is the Tara Ocean? Tara has to lead us there. Me? Of course, it's your ocean. But, but it's OK. Never mind. Wait, I can try. Follow me. There it is. I found it. The Tara Ocean. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, nice one. But how are we going to get Miss Fish into the Tara Ocean? She can't come out of the water like we can. No worries. I'll give her a lift. <laughs> Do you think Miss Fish will find her match? I know she will. Look! Snap! A pair of purple fish. <laughs> Do you feel that music, Jack? Feel it? I can feel it in my feet. I can feel it in my ear. I can feel it in my beak. Where's the sound coming from? I'll fly up and see what I can see. I see someone! Follow me! What's he doing? I don't know. Let's go and ask him. Hello, I'm Chloe. Wait, don't go. I <laughs> haven't finished. <laughs> hmm, what am I going to do now? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare away the owl. We heard drums. That's from my village. They're preparing for a big festival. I was going to get my grown-up name tonight at the festival, but I'll never finish in time. Your grown-up name? Mm-hmm. Everyone calls me Little One because I'm little, but I want to be called Storyteller. That's why me and Choppy are carving a totem pole. What's a totem pole? That is. <laughs> A totem pole is a way of telling a story. Instead of using words, you tell the story in pictures. I wanted to tell the story of some of the animals that live here. <gasps> oh. I wanted to find five animals to carve, but I'm running out of time. We could find some animals for you. And we could draw pictures of them for you to carve. Like this. You want five animals, and you already have one. So we need to find four more animals for you. Right. Let's go and find them. What a pretty rainbow. Do you think there's a pot of gold at the end of it? Ooh, I wish we could look. Your wish is my command, Miss Chloe. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Hooray for the lovely carrot! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely carrot found an animal. A salmon. Now everyone has two animals to carve, an owl and a salmon. 
So, we need three more animals. Soggy, take this back to Little One so we can start carving it. <coughs> Good job, lovely carrot. <coughs> I wonder what other kinds of animals live around here. There's one. <coughs> that looks like a <coughs> grizzly bear. <coughs> Sounds like one, too. Great to see you, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, lovely Karis. I thought you were a bear. How did you do that? You didn't even move your lips. I didn't do that. The grizzly bear did it. Ah! How do you do, Mr Bear? <laughs> No, Chloe, <laughs> don't. Bears are dangerous. Not in my world. <laughs> Could we please draw your picture, Mr Bear? Oh. <laughs> OK, let's get started. Soggy, here's another drawing to take back to Little One. Whew, it's getting hot. I'll get you some nice cold water. Thank you, lovely carrot. Carrot, thank you. What? Oh, uh, you're welcome. No trouble at all. A caribou. And here comes Soggy to deliver it. Here you go, Soggy. He looks tired, Jet. Maybe Miss Caribou can help us out. Great idea. <laughs> Wow! You did a great job, little one. And Choppy. We'll help you carry it to the festival. I'm not going to the festival. What? I wanted to tell the story of five animals, but there's only four. Are you sure I only drew four animals for you to carve? One owl, two salmon, three bear, four caribou. We need one more to make five. <laughs> we'll never find one in time. Ta-da! You can't give up. There must be another animal around here somewhere. How about carving a beaver on your totem pole? Good idea, Chloe. This is my totem pole. It tells the story of many of the animals that surround our village. Did you ever see an owl, an owl, an owl? Did you ever see an owl? He looks just like this. Did you ever see a salmon, a grizzly bear or a caribou? Did you ever? See these animals, they look just like this. These animals are special and very unique. But did you ever see a beaver, the king of them all? You have done well with this totem pole. From now on, you shall no longer be called Little One. You shall be called Storyteller. Is 
this where inventors live? Where's the door? It's up here! Let's see if anyone is home. <laughs> I wonder what all these levers and buttons do. Careful, Jet. You don't know. Thank you, Miss Chloe. You're welcome, lovely carrot. Ooh! Look at this very, very big ball pit. I'm going inside. Enough balls! They're balloons! I found a pretty purple one. <laughs> What's so funny? Your hair! It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wiz. Where is he? There he is. How is he doing that? Anything can happen in my world. <laughs> that may be true, young lady. But in this case, your little metal friend is sticking to the ceiling because of a magnet. <laughs> Are you an inventor? Inventor? <laughs> I am the world's greatest inventor. Can you invent something so we can walk on the ceiling like Wiz? Already have. Just put on those metal boots. Yes! invent something brilliant for the next toy invention convention. What's an invention convention? Well, it's where a bunch of inventors get together to show their latest toy inventions. Maybe we can help. Maybe you can. We could invent something cool with this. Or with this. <laughs> Too dangerous! <laughs> What's this? Ah, that is one of the toys I may take to the convention. It's a cloak of invisibility. Ooh! I don't see anything. Of course not. It's invisible! Ah! Are you really under there? I am. One problem, though. If I want to be totally invisible, I have to put the cloak over my face. <gasps> it works. 
Yes, but now I can't see where I'm going. Ah! Sorry, lovely carrot. Didn't know you were there. So, you see the problem with that toy? How about this toy? That's just a plain old scooter. Actually, it's a flying scooter. Try it, Chloe. It still has a few kinks. Ah! Ooh, hang on, Chloe! Yikes! Look out! Ah. Oh no! Oh. Sorry, guys! Pickles! I think it's out of petrol! Stop, Chloe! Whee! As you can see, it needs a little work. Maybe you should try inventing a simple toy, Mr. Inventor. That's silly, Chloe. Simple toys aren't fun. I think they are. Like this stick. What can you do with a stick? Well, you can hold it in front of you and pretend you're leading a band. Ride on top of it. <laughs> Brilliant! What else? It could be a guitar. Or a baseball bat. <laughs> Giggling gaggles of geese! That's the best toy I've ever seen! Stupendous! Brilliant! How did you ever get it to work so well? We just pretended. Genius! I shall call this toy Chloe's Incredible Pretending Toy! Hundreds of games in one little stick! Just add imagination! It'll be the hit of the invention convention! This Calls for a celebration! Woo! <laughs> Superhero Best Friends! Super Strong Flying Girl! Bungie Boy! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> X-Ray Girl! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> and the amazing Flapping Carrot! <laughs> Sorry! Hey, look at that cool van! It's stopped in the middle of the street. There's no driver inside. No wonder it's not moving. The tires are square. A car can't roll on square tires. Oh dear. Oh no. Whoa. Careful now. Oh. Look. Whoa. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> You're superheroes. We're the superhero best friends! Then maybe you can catch the supervillain who turned my circle tires into square tires. A supervillain? Uh-huh. I bought these boxes of yummy ice cream to share with my friends and now I can't get them home because my car won't roll. All because of supervillain square man. <laughs> Don't cry, Mr. Polar Bear. We'll get your ice cream home. Catch that naughty Mr. Square Man, too! Hooray for the superheroes! There's my home! Oh no! Your igloo is square! Poor, 
poor Mr. Polar Bear. We've got to stop Squareman. Uh, Squareman didn't do that. My igloo is always square. Oh! But look at my hoop. It's supposed to be a circle. Squareman strikes again. Don't worry, we'll catch him. Good luck. Aren't you going to help us find him? Can't right now. Mr. Goat was supposed to be here to have ice cream with me. And he's never late. I have to find him. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Can you superheroes help me again? Of course. Come on, let's find Mr. Goat. He's not in here. Naughty work of Square Man. He turned my mountain into a square. He's turning everything into squares. Don't worry, we'll stop him. Who are you? We are Superhero Super Best, Best Friends. Square Man must be around here somewhere. Squares rule. That was not nice. It was naughty. We have to stop him. Right, let's go. This is the way we help our friends. Help our friends. Help our friends. Running around to fix and mend with magical superpowers. This is the way we help our friends. Help our friends. Help our friends. We're superheroes. Sides and circles are nice and round and lovely as well. Just look at the sun. But squares are my favorite shape. <gasps> Why don't you come with me? First, make the mountain a triangle again, please. Now take this circle and have some fun. Whoa! This is cool! Wahoo! Yeah! Whoa! 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 Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> you were right, 
super strong flying girl. Riding around circle sled down a pointy triangle mountain was great. Does that mean you're going to stop making everything square? Of course. Hooray! Now, let's do that again. a big garden, a vegetable garden. There's corn and lettuce and, whoa, a whole bunch of vegetables. Stop! Ow! Ah, ow! <gasps> Gracious, everyone okay? I'm okay. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry about that, little fella. <laughs> I'm in an awful hurry. I have a very important delivery to make, and I'm already late. Can we help, Mr. Farmer? How nice of you to offer. Uh, oops! <laughs> uh, maybe you could watch my garden for me while I'm gone. We'd love to. There's a flock of crows that keeps coming around to eat my vegetables. Don't worry. We'll keep them away. Uh, thank you so much. I'll be back in two shakes of a pig's tail. <laughs> I'll do the weeding. I'll water. And I'll keep the crows away. <laughs> Maybe you should use the small watering can, lovely carrot. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like crows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. You can't eat here. Chew. Go away. Pickles. They're not moving. Chew, birdie. Chew. You have to go now! Please! Oh! He took the coin from you? Right out of my hand! Stay right here, Miss Chloe. I'll take care of this. <gasps> you have to leave now, crows! Go on! I mean it. You have to leave. Shoo! Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Ah! Those crows are big! You're right. So we need a big scarecrow to scare them away. Oh, brilliant! These handlebars make perfect arms, Chloe. Now he needs a head. I found it! A head for our scarecrow! Ah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he looks amazing, Miss Chloe. Too bad he can't make noise. Like this? Ah! Chloe, that scarecrow talked. Anything can happen in my world. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. You're very scary. Thank you. He'll definitely keep the crows away. I shall do my best. <laughs> there are no crows in the garden now, Chloe. Our scarecrow is working. Uh-oh. Here they come. <laughs> it worked! He scared them away! I don't think so. Hey, Shoo! Stop it! Go away! Go! Go! Hey, Shoo! That wasn't very nice. Those crows must really love corn. 
sorry, everyone. I tried to shoo them away, but there are seven of them, and only one of me. Would three more scarecrows help? Three plus me makes four. That would make four scarecrows against seven crows. Yes, let's try it. Try what? When the birds come back, we'll all wave our arms and yell. Here they come. Ready? One, two, three. They're gone. They're back. Oh, dear. This isn't good. You crows are not behaving very nicely. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you and only one lovely carrot. Hmm. You're right. We're sorry. It's also not very nice of you to take the farmer's vegetables without asking. But we're hungry and we love vegetables. That doesn't make it okay. You have to ask before you take something. The farmer works really hard to grow those vegetables. So what can we eat? Gosh, I don't know. My head is pretty empty, so I don't know a lot of things. <laughs> But I did see that the farmer left a pile of old vegetables behind the barn. I think he's throwing them away. Throwing them away? Why? Some of it has bruises or bumps on it. We don't mind bruises and bumps. Come on, then. I'll show you where it is, and you can eat all you want. One little, two little heads of cabbages Three little, four little stalks of celery Five little, six little piles of carrots Six, seven big ears of corn Thank you so much, everyone. We promise to leave the rest of the garden alone from now on. And I promise to make sure you get something to eat here every day. Deal. Deal. Thank you so much for looking after my garden. You even scared those pesky crows away. You're welcome, Mr. Farmer. Now I hope this scarecrow can keep them away. Don't worry, he will. <laughs> <laughs>